Hey guys, it's Eric and Sam. I'm going to tell you about my most recent purchase of this vacuum storage bag for my 3D printer filament. Storing these filaments in a dry and very low humidity area part of your house is extremely important. And if you don't, you're going to mess up your 3D prints. Your prints are going to get stringy and you're just going to mess things up. So having your um, filament in a storage location and then one of these bags to keep it dry is a must have. Now it comes with everything that you need to put them back into sealed packages. You get 20 double bags so you can put two filament rolls in there and then five single bags so you can put a single roll. It only come mine came only with two the um closers um really you only need one but it says it was supposed to come with five mine only came with two um and then it has the pump has the the silicon pou pouches which is five um but it's kind of weird because you're going to need more if you're going to have all these bags so definitely when you buy your filament they're probably going to come with the uh, desilicant. Definitely keep those um, and put them in these bags. Hold on to them and reuse them. You can actually dry them out simply by putting in the oven at a very, very, very low heat for a few minutes. Now, once you put everything in here, you put the desilicant in there and you put in one of the humidity indicators, which... By the way, I don't understand how to read these things. Maybe if there's a lot of humidity, it might set something off. It might change colors, but I've had mine in here for a while, and they're all blue, so I'm not quite sure how that's supposed to change colors. And then you just close up with the little plastic thing that comes with it, and then you put the pump onto the little air and you start pumping first few times that you pump it it's going to feel like it's not moving you just kind of have to break that seal um, and once you do it then you just do it for another minute and you can see the bag is going to shrink and you're going to see all the air coming out of there now don't overdo it um, once the bag starts shrinking down you can kind of see in the middle of the filament there's a hole there and you can kind of see that bag being pulled in don't do it, do it too much because that will break the bag so don't overdo it overall i really like this definitely highly recommend this if you're into 3d printing and you store your filaments you definitely need to get something to store your filaments in the right location right environment and this will definitely help you thanks for watching guys i hope this video was helpful see you guys on the next one